Next, we're going to check the SPU, the signal processing unit, or gray box, as we like to call it. And uh, again, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we've got good batteries in here. So if we do find a problem that's wrong, we don't have to consider that as the, the source of the problem. To open the gray box up, we'll remove the two Phillips head screws that are on the back of the, or the underside of the unit. And then the case is flipped over, so it's right side up. And I usually push down on the, uh, the front and back panels and lift the top of the clamshell up. And that will reveal the 9-volt batteries inside. So now, when the signal processing unit is turned on, we should get a constant click rate like that. And we should be able to control that click rate with the click rate knob. If for some reason the switch doesn't turn on, sometimes especially on the high power and the medium power, you may find that you don't get contact. Or maybe it sounds like you kind of do as you turn past those positions, but it doesn't stay on when they're in the positions. That's generally because we've got some corrosion on the contacts in the switch right here. The way we'll take care of that is to um, turn the unit off. We use some contact cleaner. This is the type of stuff that can be purchased from a radio shack or any electronic supply store. And we're just going to squirt a little bit right on the, the contact location there, inside these contacts. And then we're going to turn that switch back and forth just to clean things up real good. Make sure that those contacts are good and clean. And if uh, your unit was not turning on at first when you did this, as you start to do this, you should hear that start to turn on as the, uh, the corrosion is worn off those switches. Sometimes it takes 30 or 40 or 50 turns back and forth to get it good and clean.